Frigidaire. It means the first electric refrigerator. The first compact electric range. Now, there's the Frigidaire Gallery Range with Symmetry Double Ovens. It's designed to cook multiple dishes at multiple temperatures, so you can prepare the entire meal at the same time. Frigidaire, over 90 years of legendary innovation. See the full line of Frigidaire appliances at Ventura TV Electronics and Appliances. Hi, I'm John Malos and welcome to this live edition of Connect With Me on the showroom floor at Ventura TV on this Tuesday morning. The focus today is on a business and if you're looking to possibly decorate the interior of your home, which I know many of you might be at this point, 436 Me TV Option 11, call in, ask your question, turn down the sound in your television set, and do not wade through the message. Back in just a moment. Welcome back to the program. It is the focus on business today here on the showroom floor at Ventura TV. First, though, before we get into the program, I want to remind you that on Thursday we'll have a special program on the Fresno State football team. The Bulldogs, of course, are 8-0. They're undefeated. First time uh, that they've had such a record like that since 1989. Of course, last Saturday they uh, had their second sellout of the season. It was a wild and frenzied crowd, of course, at Bulldog Stadium. They easily, well, not easily, they beat University of Nevada, Reno. And this weekend they go to the University of Wyoming, where it will be cold. In fact, it'll be more than cold. It'll be freezing. We'll see what the Bulldogs do then. Thursday, though, Nick Papagni will be here to analyze what kind of a state the Bulldogs are in right now. So the focus on business, it is called the vintage market at 601, but actually it shut down for a while and then reopened at its current location. Let's go to the videotape, show you exactly what I am talking about. Anyway, uh, this is the vintage market 601 located at the corner of Sean with Sean. This place has about three thousand square feet if you will and in here they sell just about everything for the interior of your home you can see some of the stuff right there things like furniture lighting linens dishes pottery even art and a whole lot more the vintage market has been at this current location for one year in fact november the 15th will be the one year anniversary the original vintage market started in clovis some 16 years ago the owner uh, at this point goes to auction, she goes to st estate sales to find some of the items that you're looking at inside the store and she resells them to you, the customer. Interesting though, her background is not really in sales. That is uh, some beautiful stuff you're looking at right there. Once upon a time, she was a lender in the housing industry. What a beautiful piece that is right there. Live in our studio right now is Jacqueline Shore. She is the owner of the Vintage Market. She'll tell us what kind of items that she looks for to purchase at these estate sales or auctions that she actually turns around and sells back to the public. What kind of items? How expensive are they? And what are you looking for in particular to decorate your home? And the other question is, does she go inside your home to evaluate and give you an opinion, a professional opinion, on how the decor should be inside your home? 436, Me TV Option 11, turn down the sound, don't wait through the message. We're back with the focus on business in a moment. Now why don't you tell us the whole story right from the beginning? All right, from the beginning. This is the city, Los Angeles, California. My name's Friday. I carry a badge. Police officers. You any idea who the other man was? My partner's Bill Gannon. Program? We got just one big question. Yeah. When? Now on Me TV Fresno, Xfinity 187. The focus is on business. We're here with Jacqueline Shore from the Vintage Market 601, right? Yes, at 601. Now, what does the 601 mean? What does that mean? What does that stand for? It's the address. <laughs> okay. The address is not on the building, so I decided to incorporate it in the name of the store. 
Oh, okay. So it is located at the corner of Shaw and Wishon. Wishon. And it's 601. West right, Shaw. Think, yeah, West Shaw. So mm -hmm. what kind of a store is this? Just give us the, the lowdown. It's an antique and home decor store with emphasis in interior design. And there are seven of us that have come together to create this. So is it a high end place? What it's, I mean it's, by it, it's, it's a nice place. It's a nice place. What I mean by high end, uh, do you have some items that are really expensive and some kind of in the middle and maybe some lower end stuff? I believe we have something for everyone. Yes, there Which are high means end. What? There are high end, high end. Yeah. Medium and they're just everyday items for yeah. for anyone and everyone. Yeah. So you started pretty much as a lender. Your yep. background is you know lending and mm -hmm. housing and, and things of that nature. What got you into this? Um, my husband had set up a couple of people in business where I didn't think that he should, and I wanted to do it. And this has been my passion, oh, design. Okay. And so I started in Clovis in 1997. So you really don't have any formal schooling or background with this. It's just a labor of love? Yes. How so? It's innate. I, I understand balance. I understand design. And I don't have to like the merchandise or the furnishings, but I can put it together so it's pleasing to the eye. All right, let me ask you a sarcastic question. Ken, how do you like the decor in the studio here? <laughs> is it okay? Does it need a little sprucing up? <laughs> What's behind me, I think, is great. Okay. <laughs> what would you improve on? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the fly swatter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have a fly swatter, of course. Uh, but uh, uh, so, you know, I, you do have a collection of artwork. You like selling art. Original art is very important to me, but we also have vintage art as well. All right, I want to show some of the art because okay. we have some of the video that um, our guy Marcus Borelli shot at your store, uh, and there is some of the art right there. You can look at it, talk into the mic, and describe what we're seeing here. This is vintage art. Okay. One of our, um, we have five local artists, and this is his collection, Paul Parishon. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And what are we looking at right there? These are all um, listed artists. And it, it's all mid-century, 30s, 20s, some 60s. Right. All shapes, all sizes. Mm -hmm. uh, some are in black and white. Some are in color. Um, and most so of them are oil. Most are oil paintings, really. Mm -hmm. And where did you get most of these paintings? These all belong to Paul, one of our vendors, who's also one of the local artists that we feature. Give us some of the price ranges. Uh, 40, from what we're looking at here in this collection? S some 45 to, and there might be three or $400, but I'd say the majority of them are about uh, $95, $95 Not, would be the average price. Would be the average price. What's the high, highest price you would say out of this in collection this, here in this, in this group? Maybe $550. Okay. All right. And is, is there a demand for this kind of art right Abs here? Which absolutely. Mm -hmm. How quickly will this collection go? Well, we sell several pieces every week. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Several meaning what? Ten? A dozen? I'd say between eight and twelve. Okay. Okay. That's a good looking collection there. And so, um, so most of the people that come into your store, they're looking for art? Well, they're paintings looking, to hang on, in the, on their walls? Maybe they're not, they don't know what they're looking for, but things of, that we have in the store speak to you. Mm -hmm. And if, it, if the piece speaks to them, they'll take that with them. So do you have a lot of people that come in maybe that really are not looking for anything in particular, Absolutely. but then they see something mm -hmm. and it's got to have it? Yep. How many of those? That happens on a daily basis. Okay. All right. Tell us your store hours. We're open Tuesday through Sunday. Tuesday through Friday is 10 to 6. Saturday is 10 to 5. And Sunday, noon to 4. Okay. Talk about, you have how many people work in there? Seven, you said? There are seven of us, yes. Seven of, seven of you. Okay. Uh, each of you has your particular, you know, specialty, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. If someone comes in and says, look, you know, I want to redo the interior of my house a little bit. You know, I don't like the way it looks. Your answer would be what? Well, I'd need to know, I'd interview them a bit to find out what their style is. What if they don't know what drawn, their style is? Well, what they're drawn to then. Okay. What if they don't know? 
Well, they know what they like or they know what they don't like, and knowing what you don't like is as important as what you do like. So are you talking about liking in terms of what, color, size? Color, style. Do you like curves? Do you like straight lines? I have no idea. I don't know what looks good. That, I guess I'm kind of asking the question for myself. So if I were to walk in, and I, I really i am not sure what I'm looking for, I'm not even sure what I like. <laughs> well, so how do you help a guy like me? We have straight-lined items. We have curvy items. I'd walk you around the store. Do you like this? Right. You know, you know immediately. And if someone him haws, I know they don't like it. Yeah. You go on to the next thing. Yeah. Will you go into someone's house? Absolutely. And how often do you do that? On on demand. I have an appointment this afternoon in a client's home. Oh, okay. Okay. So they ask you to come in, or mm -hmm. do you do you just make that offering right up front? Well, our our store is set up like rooms in your house. Each. Oh, area okay. tells a story. Everything is brought together. Even though there are seven of us in the store, we don't, and maybe they all pay just a portion of the rent. We bring the things together where they make the most sense. So my things won't just be in my little corner. Oh, They'll be th okay. throughout the store. And so will George's and Ginger's all throughout the store. So it makes the most sense for the customer. And how many rooms do you have set up in your store? Like a room. Nine. Nine. There's a, okay. there's a kitchen, there's a bathroom, there's a men's room, there's a man's room, and the difference is the game room would be the man, the gentleman would be <laughs> okay. the library. You have a man cave set man, up in your store? Yeah, we do. We do. <laughs> <laughs> What's up there? 49er paintings or uh, autographs? No, or? no, 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 no. Uh, there's a couple of slot machines, there's a, a um, pool table. chair, no. <laughs> Um, a Mexican restaurant menu. Okay. Vintage signs. Right. Pop bottles. Okay. All right. We're talking with Jacqueline Shore. We've got to take a break here on Connect With Me. And your phone calls important. Uh, 436 Me TV option 11. Do not wade through the message. And remember, if you call in, if you want to talk about some of the items that are in the store and you're looking for something, call in, ask a question. We're back in a moment. When you're looking for KitchenAid innovation and quality, who has the answers, the selection, the price? Ventura TV Appliance. With billions in nationwide appliance buying power, more than Home Depot and Best Buy combined will help you save. Our low prices on Energy Star qualified KitchenAid appliances save you energy and money and pay no interest on select models when paid in full within 12 months. Ventura TV Appliance, serving you since 1951. We're back here on Connect With Me. It's uh, the focus on business. And I guess this is as good a time as any to put up the disclaimer. And we want to put this up because we want to focus on business today. And, of course, Ventura TV has been around here for 61 years. 60 years plus. Let's, let's put it that way. Since 1951. Uh, I might add, that's uh, quite a long time before I was born. Anyway, the store's been around here a long time. We've been fortunate and successful as a business. So... Uh, once in a while here on Connect With Me, you know, the owner Mark Sheeran uh, likes to focus on business and help others out where he possibly can, like to pass on that good luck, that good fortune, right? Uh, his father, Ed Sheeran, started this business, and we wish any business here that's been around the Central Valley for a long time the best of luck. Now, you started your store in Clovis, mm -hmm. is that correct? I was. Then shut it down. You were open for how long in Clovis? For 10 years. Okay. How successful a business was it in Clovis? I enjoy being in Fresno. Um, Clovis was good, but I enjoy Fresno more. Because you can be honest. We're honest here. We're we're just we're a factual show. We're honest. I I'm by myself where I am now. Okay. I was amongst other stores, and I I I just enjoy the climate in Fresno. Okay, we got a phone call here. Good morning. You're on Connect with me. What's your question? Hi, I was just curious because usually I, I have a home out in the, going out by the Millerton area and I have a, one of the rooms I'm turning is what she said the man cave is more of a western motif uh, like saddles things like that I'm looking for certain sort of mountainous vistas that would match sort of the old western look that I like with orange skies 
And I looked around Fresno Antique Shops, Blackstone, entire area, but they don't really quite have what I want. And I would hate to take a trip out to Pebble Beach or Carmel or anything like that. <laughs> I mean, if I would, do you have anything like that, perhaps, that, that looks like a panoramic mountain vista, but in oil painting? I don't have anything like that in the store right now, but mm -hmm. I know Paul has some of those in his um, gallery of paintings, and I could have them there for you. I do believe that Clovis is known for its Western way of life, and at the 4th Street Antique Mall, I know that uh, there is a stagecoach painting in there right now with horses and that kind of stuff that would work Western-wise. And there are also yeah. some other items at in the 4th Street Antique Mall that would work for what you're describing. Is there anything like sculptures, sort of statues, things like that? Currently in our store, we have a, a, a Remington, which is a, a copy, a small one. And okay. there are some in Clovis as well at 4th Street that I'm aware of. Right, right. I'd, I'd love to give you a visit. You're open all week? We're closed on Mondays, but uh, 10 to 6, Tuesday through Friday, until 5 on Saturday and noon to 4 on Sunday. Great, great. Are you in the book? We are. If all you know right. where Fig Garden Village is, we're across the street on the southwest corner of Sean with Sean. Oh, okay, yeah, perfect. <laughs> are you located, right, thank you very much. Are you You're located welcome. in Clovis or uh, Fresno? Yeah. I used to be in Clovis. Okay, you're in now Fresno I now. moved uh, yeah. my home up by Millerton Lake. Oh, that's right. Time. Okay, okay, yeah. 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 Okay. So one of the rooms is a big room, and I'm just going to make it a huge. Yeah, gotcha. It's sort of a Western motif for me. Okay. All right. Well, good luck. Thank okay. you for the call. I appreciate it very much. And uh, so maybe the the cowboy type atmosphere in Clovis maybe didn't suit your style so much. Exactly. Was that was that it? Because mm -hmm. you're not really a cowboy type store. No, no. You're kind of a. Uh, how would you describe it? I prefer European look. Europe, yeah, kind mm -hmm. of a European flavor mm -hmm. or culture to it when you walk inside. So maybe the, maybe the store didn't fit there, but you lasted ten years. Something mm -hmm. had to go right. Well, we do a lot of interior design work, and I think that okay. that helps. Okay. Do you get just a lot of walk-ins? Not where we are now. We get more than you'd think. Really? But, um, it's a busy uh, section right there, mm -hmm. that stretch of Shaw Avenue. Mm -hmm. Cars zip by there at 50 miles an hour. So yes, it's kind of hard to get walk-ins, right? Well, so sometimes how do you, they go around the corner. How do, you, how do you generate the business then? Do you advertise? No, we haven't advertised. There's a right. Facebook page, okay. but um, we invested in some banners that are out front. Is it word of mouth? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, but if you were inside the village, Fig Garden Village, you'd get more walk-ins. Probably. Probably, yes. Yeah, okay. Another phone call. Good morning. You're on with Jacqueline Shore. What's your question? Um, I have a uh, old lithograph by, I believe, his name is Maxfield Par Parish. Yes, Maxfield Parish. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's called the Dinky Bird, and it comes in a frame. Uh, a, I, I can tell it's old by looking at it, but... The frame is carved and, and at the corners, very ornate. And I was want, wondering um, if, if you knew the, the background of that. I I heard heard that he put uh, several uh, of his works on on calendars. Absolutely. And, and uh, I was wondering if it. If um, uh, you, you were familiar with the piece that I'm speaking about, not that particular if, one. I am if, familiar if with the frame. If, if the frame, if, if it's in the original frame, or or I don't know much about Mr. Parrish, but but I do uh, love the the swinging nude guy uh, in front of the castle with the blues. <laughs> okay. It depends. Thank you. It depends on. I am familiar with it, yes. And the condition is everything. So I wouldn't be able to give you a value. But um, we would need to, to look at it to tell you what it, what it is worth. 
my parents had this mirror, not too big a mirror, but it's kind of, you know, kind of a, whoops, got a fly in here. Where's your fly spotter? Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> we've, got a, we've got a big mirror. They had a big mirror that had flamingos on it. Uh-huh. Okay. It's like old 1950s style. Absolutely. It's okay. mid-century. Yeah. Okay. What's mm -hmm. that thing worth? Well, again, conditions everything. How's the mirror? Are there any chips in it? There might be like maybe one, possibly, but what does something like that go for usually? Well, three, four hundred, really, probably. Yeah. Okay. We do have another piece of videotape, and your, you know, your friend is flying right around you there. I know yeah, we got to get nice. the flies. Yeah, water. exactly. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the videotape. Let's do it. All right. They're going to take us around the store here. Explain what this is. This it's is obviously a, a piano. It's a square grand. It's rosewood, and it dates a Civil War, okay. about uh, mid 1800s. So that dates back to 1800. Mm-hmm. Wow. Civil War era. Yeah. Amazing. All right. Where'd you find it? Uh, Where'd my, you get it? Off of, my husband bought it off of eBay in 2000, and it's just been uh, refurbished. Okay. If I had some money to spend, what's that going to set me back? The How square much? grand? Yeah. Maybe 9500 Okay. And the painting? Is um, an original by Paul Parishon, and she's 1500 Okay. What are we looking at here? A collection of um, oriental... And there's some enamel ware. There's an oriental screen, an Art Deco lamp. And it's all sitting on an Indian, Eastern Indian um, cabinet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the, uh, you know, I like to call that thing, I don't know what, what the official name of it, but the, the dividers, I like to call them dividers. What, what do those run, depending on how much you... Well, it depends on the size. The size, And, yeah. and again, the condition. And this one's six hundred dollars. Six hundred. Wow. Here's a collection of what here? That's a compact in jewelry. All right. Another original by Paul. Uh huh. Okay. And the pan over. Another one. This is yes. a big one. Mm -hmm. He's a Greek fisherman. Uh huh. He's about fifty-two by forty-five, and what does that go for? Seven fifty. Seven fifty. Okay. So we're getting kind of an idea of prices and the items, uh, depending on the size and depending on, um, you know, what we're looking at in terms of uh, condition, mm -hmm. right? That kind of determines the price too, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. Right. Okay. How long have you had that piano there? <laughs> the piano just came back. We just uh, sent it out to uh, have it re refinished, and it's been there a couple of weeks now. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Jacqueline Shore is our guest today. The focus is, of course, on business. 436 Me TV, option 11. If you have any other questions, more video to show inside the store. Remember, turn down the sound and hit option 11. Back in a moment. After practicing law, Raymond Burr fought crime. You have the right to an attorney. As a hard boiled detective on wheels. Ain't it the truth? His name is Ironside. Perhaps you wouldn't mind saying it again. His name is Ironside. All right, now you've said it. Now on MeTV Fresno, Xfinity 187. <laughs> Back here with Jacqueline Shore of the Vintage Market 601. She's not talking about a pair of jeans. She's talking about the address. That's where you, What's the address again? 601 West Shaw. Okay. All right. Another piece of video. Let's walk you through the store again. Well, you know your store. Okay. What are we looking at here? We take that this full is screen. A, a Buddha head. All right. This is a... Art Deco lamp, All reverse right. painting. What's the Buddha head go for? It's eighty-five dollars, okay. and it's not wood. All right. It's a later piece. And these are smaller, mm -hmm. obviously paintings and frames. And, and this work belongs to George Huddleston. These are this is his collection here. Okay. She's a reproduction from a ship. Mm-hmm. Those are candles. All right. And you sell sofas. This must be one of your sofas, or is that it's a bed? It's actually a, a double bed that we had okay. set up as a day bed All right. in the front of the store. It's a floor-length mirror there. Okay. A reproduction bust. So you sell beds, sofas, mm -hmm. chairs, lamps, obviously, uh, anything that goes inside your home. What's that we're looking at right there? She's a reproduction bust. All right. All right. She's good for a bookcase, tabletop, mm -hmm. to sit in a corner. Goes for what? I think she's 400 400 mm -hmm. And this here? Thomas Edison cylinder player. 
It's 659 with many cylinders. It's complete. Mm -hmm. It's a cowhide. It's a rug. It could be a tablecloth as well. Right. A small love seat. Right. The white love seat, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And a big, gigantic painting on the yes, wall. Yes, yes. This is who? I don't know who he is, but just another work by Paul. Okay. There's okay. a photograph of the Security Bank building downtown Fresno. Oh, that, that's nice. And the nice. three sconces you see are out of a theater from San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm thinking, too, that when you walk into the store and you see some of these items, you, you might say to yourself, that's not going to look good in my house. But that may not necessarily be true. Absolutely, that may not be true. And we offer 24-hour approval. So if you're doubting it, rather than spend the money and be dissatisfied, take it home and live with it and see if you like it. And if you don't like it, bring it back. Within? 24 hours. 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Is that all? You don't, <laughs> it's not a 30-day thing, huh? It's you got 24 hours whether or not you, what if you, you want to have friends over and say, hey, look at this piece I have on it. Do you like that? Is that okay? What if it takes more than 24 hours? Well, I'll work with you, but you know if you like it or not immediately. You're going to know as Absolutely. soon as you get home. Sure. Right. What if you need a second and a third opinion? Will you come to the house and give it to them? Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What do you want people to know about your store that they don't know? Where we are, that we exist. The location, mm -hmm. the location, mm -hmm. the location. That's the most important thing, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, yeah. And what else? We offer interior design work, so we will help you. And if it's right. not suitable for you, we tell you. Okay. I don't want, I want your home to be a reflection of where you have shopped. And if you've shopped with us, I want you to be satisfied. And if it doesn't look good, you're going to know it doesn't look good. I won't let you have it. Right. And the perception that you have high-end stuff, and what if you walk into the store? People walk into your store and they say, I don't know, this is, you know, it, the prices in here might be a little steep for me. Well, I want to find out what your budget is. Okay. We all have a budget to work within. I get that. So you can work with Absolutely. a person who has a budget. Mm -hmm. Okay. The items that you have in the store, how many do you have altogether? Oh, my goodness. You have like a thousand items? Or more. Or more. Sure. Okay. And how long did it take you to collect all these items? Well, there's seven of us. So, okay. But I've, I'm a shopper at heart, so I'm always shopping and trading things out. Before you opened the store a year ago, did you have to collect the items first and then open the store, obviously? And if so, how long did that take you? Well, when I closed the Clovis store, I helped my husband in the mortgage company. Then I leased space from 4th Street Antique Mall. Okay. And by doing that, I still had inventory. So I didn't have much to buy. Oh, you didn't have much to buy at all. So you were, you were storing it. How many items did you, did you have altogether? I had several rooms full, and there were still things in my home that I was able to furnish the store with. Right, right. And so are you glad you did? Absolutely. I love my job. Yeah. I do. Yeah, and you're the sole owner now, right? I own, well, yes, I own the store. There was a little hesitation there. Well, Somebody else that we don't know about? No, no, we're, <laughs> no, I'm the only one that gets to pay the mortgage payment. I'm oh, happy okay. to share that responsibility, okay, but it's okay. just me. Yeah, um, but, but you also get the benefits, you reap the benefits of that. I, but there's seven of us in the store that make the right. store what it is. Right. There's so no it's not just my it. eyes that are out buying, there are yeah. 12 others. Okay, the Vintage Market uh, at 601, and that's the address, 601 Shaw at the corner of Shaw and Wishon. Absolutely. Across from Fig Garden Village. And uh, if you're zipping by there and you happen to pass a place, just you can make a U-turn where? You can make a U-turn at Maroa, or you could turn right onto Maroa and work back. Work your way back. Mm -hmm. Okay, check it out. Appreciate your coming on the show. Thank you. And good luck with your business. I know it's, uh, you know, it was... 10 years old initially in Clovis, but now the current location is, is one year. We wish you the best of Thank luck you, and a lot of success. Thank Thanks you. for coming on, Jacqueline. Thank you. Bye. Okay, good to see you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. That's going to do it for us today here on Connect With Me. We're going to be back tomorrow. We're going to be talking about the Warner's Theater and what they're showing for the holidays. You'll be surprised. Don't forget our Thursday program with Nick Papagni. The Pag Meter is going to be here talking about Fresno State Bulldogs, their 8-0 and record. See you tomorrow. Have a good one.
12. One Adam 12. This is Adam 12. One Adam 12, Roger. Now on MeTV Fresno, Xfinity 187.